Howdy everyone and welcome to the Serial Geek TV YouTube channel. My name is James Etock and today we're going to take a look at a pretty average episode of Mask. Granted that's not a great selling point, but this pretty average episode of Mask has one of the most shocking final acts of any episode of the series, in which Mobile Armored Strike Command sidekicks Scott Tracker and T-Bob are killed. Yep. Firstly, let's talk a bit about Scott Tracker and T-Bob. Now, I understand why many people weren't fans of the characters. Sidekicks just have a way of doing that to some people. And I'm not going to sit here and deny that there are most definitely some sidekicks that are the bad kind of distraction during a series. But I feel that in the case of Scott and T-Bob, they were good additions to the series, if not a little overutilized on occasion. That said, I could happily have a T-Bob in every episode. Actually, I could watch an entire cartoon with him as the star, The Adventures of T-Bob. Kind of like the sound of that. If you aren't aware, season two of Mask utterly altered the direction of the show in numerous ways, one of which was Scott and T-Bob seemingly written out of the series, Scott appearing in a couple of PSAs and T-Bob appearing in only one and not uttering a single word. For a character whose dialogue was laden with puns, I always found this somewhat of a travesty. But going back to season one of Mask, Scott and T-Bob appeared in every episode and were always getting into some sort of crazy subplot that would eventually lead into the main plot. One episode in particular saw the pair not only play an important role in the story, but also come dangerously close to never appearing in the series again. Death has always been a tricky subject in Saturday morning cartoons. Many shows would either avoid the subject completely, whilst those that did address it had to tread very carefully in view of their target audience, as well as standards and practices and numerous parental groups baying for blood. For example, the He-Man episode, The Problem with Power. Those that worked on that episode wanted He-Man to legitimately, though accidentally, kill someone. But Filmation Brass, understandably, weren't too keen on the idea, and the premise was rewritten so that the death of the villager was proven to be a trick by nasty old Skeletor. Boo! <laughs> a few years later, Filmation allowed a few episodes of Brave Star to showcase some rather shocking on screen deaths. And let's not even talk about Transformers the movie. Yikes. The Mask series was purposefully never at the forefront of character development, relying more on character interaction, interesting stories and fast-paced, action-packed scenes. The show was also, sensibly, rooted in its earthbound stories and mysteries, although some of those mysteries were a little far-fetched. The season 1 episode, The Star Chariot, was something else. In the episode, one of the earliest produced for the series, a Native American Indian arrowhead is the key to locating an alien spacecraft, the Star Chariot. In the second act of the episode, Mask and Venom are seeking out the Star Chariot within some ancient ruins. It is at this point that we are treated to a unique and frankly bizarre scene. Whilst the villainous Venom agents are being pursued by the heroic agents of Mask through the aforementioned ancient ruins, they accidentally set off a trap that releases large, crushing devices that roll towards them. The agents of both Venom and Mask manage to evade the trap, avoiding a terrible, crushing death. But Matt Tracker's son, Scott Tracker, and his ever-faithful robot T-Bob are trapped at the end of a corridor and are subsequently crushed. Matt Tracker appears to be in shock, albeit briefly, and while we are not shown exactly what happened to the pair, Alex Sector indicates that it is too late to save them. Venom successfully locate the Star Chariot, but are defeated by Mask and hurriedly flee the temple. Matt Tracker doesn't seem to act like a man who has just seen his son killed, remarking quite calmly that Venom will pay for what they did to Scott. Now this is where the episode gets really weird. Scott suddenly appears from within the alien spacecraft, much to everyone's surprise. The young boy then reveals that he had a weird dream in which he and T-Bob were transported aboard a UFO and taken to an alien planet where they were fixed. T-Bob remarks that he had the same dream, prompting Scott to reply that robots don't dream. This in itself is an odd statement as T-Bob always seemed to possess a great deal of artificial intelligence. Everyone watches as the Star Chariot then disappears from sight and the gathered mask agents muse as to what they have just witnessed. I applaud the writer for having the bravery to kill the son of the lead character only a few episodes into the series, 
but the UFO angle that comes to fruition in the second act of the episode doesn't really gel with the rest of the Mask series. Fortunately, this George Lucas-esque ending was thankfully only ever used once, and aliens were rarely referenced again in the series. So thank you for watching this video, please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and I shall see you very soon.